Okay. It looks like the day is coming to an end anyway, so let's just uh, stay here on this side. Nice. Ah, another neck. Weird to call them necks, huh? And this knife is so good. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what this is about. This land is hard and wild, but we who are brought here are harder still. Take comfort, traveler, and the gifts before you. The good blah blah, blah nature stuff. Look also to the wild boar who roam these lands. Uh, you can tame them with roots of the ground. Alright. Yeah, no, I read that before. <clears throat> I just forgot I read it already. I don't know if I like these this row of stones next to my home or... I think you, like, yes, just like that. Okay, so you have the hammer, then you choose the repair. Okay, well, the, oh, look how much stuff needs repairing here. Is this all from monsters and stuff outside? This is crazy. Is this, did the Graylings do all this damage? Or is it like, does it wear down from weather and age, regardless? That up there is worn? So it's gotta be from, it's from age. Well, I'm surprised to see how much needs repairing. It, does it take wood? I don't know if it takes materials to repair stuff. We didn't. I didn't see any. It didn't uh, specify anything disappearing or anything being spent. Not that I noticed, anyway. Okay. Now that we have more materials. Um. Oh, we can upgrade the knife if we just have flints on us. And we have a bunch of flint. Let's just uh, let's save that for tomorrow. Sit beside a fire in a great hall, chatter, faces blur like smoke, and their names slip your mind. So again, it's like about how he uh, he has. He's kind of like in a state of uh, am amnesia, sort of. It's like he's been brought here by the gods and all the knowledge of nature in the world is within him, but he has to encounter it uh, to learn it. That's how they sort of narrate this. Uh, how they make sense of the game or the story or whatever so yeah. yeah 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 I was thinking it's let's just use a fresh day for sailing because I don't know how long it's gonna take to get across it doesn't look far but it's always a good idea to start in you look how beautiful that is start a new journey in the morning Okay, so now we have a uh, headwind, I think they call it. Yeah, wind uh, right behind us. Now usually that makes the boat, you would rather want to have it at an angle. Uh, 
usually. Okay, Black Forest. Wow. It's like a new kind of music up too. Is that a fish on the surface of the water? Wow, this looks pretty cool. This is worthy of a screenshot. Okay, I took quite a bit, quite a few screenshots around here. This, this is all beautiful. Feels like I'm approaching a whole new bio. So far, I gotta say, crossing isn't much of a hassle, actually. Pretty smooth. Well, this entry here among the stones, which in real life you would want to avoid, but it looks good in the game. Just where the land kind of makes an indentation there. It's like it's far in. I can get the boat would be ideal. I don't know what that sound was, but it wasn't the mic. It sounded like the mic or something. Right, I gotta go around this thing to talk with him. I'm glad to see him again though. Turn back. This is a dangerous place. We've wandered into the Black Forest. This place can be very dangerous for those unprepared. Oh, geez. Okay. I've heard about the Black... Prove you're worthy. You have to prove you're worthy first. Okay, well, that was a mess. Uh, wait. Does he have another message for me? Oh, a skeleton. Did I get bones now? Oh man. Bones are like so precious. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I, I need to be more prepared. Shucks. I was sort of hoping to have an adventure here. What's uh, bad about being wet, though? It says I'm wet for another minute. I don't, I don't see the... Ooh! I really didn't think I would get him. Okay, let's talk with Well met, adventurer. Rumor has it some traders have found themselves into the tenth world. If you find yourself in need of special commodities, you might want to seek them out. One of them should be somewhere in a forest such as this. I am terribly sorry. I can't be more of help. I'll have to keep an eye out. Okay, noted. So there's people I can trade with? I take it. Okay. I'm not... This is not optimal. I have to be able to... I have to turn the boat the, towards the other side of where the wind is coming from to get the best angle. 
Oh jeez. Um, how do I turn it now? If it doesn't... Oh, well, we're off. <clears throat> I have to do some wiggling and I, I got a hold of it eventually. That looks cool. I like the blur. The camera focuses where you where you point the crosshair. It's a cool little cool little effect. Yeah, I got food for days. Health's pretty low though, but it's starting to it's starting to go. Come back. I guess when he's not in comfort, when he's in discomfort, his health doesn't grow. Or something, I don't know. Maybe it's time based. The water here looks kind of tropical when it gets that green shade. It's like the Caribbean or something. The water doesn't really look like that uh, Scandinavia. Not really. Okay, now I'm like it, the boat's barely moving, um, and now I have the wind directly against me towards the direction I want to get into. So I have to go at a stupid angle, slightly away from my target. See if I can get this to work. So I kind of have to. You see how? You see how? You see how I have to carve away from the land in order to get back into it at an angle? I feel sorry for people that, that don't have experience sailing and this is probably so frustrating for them because they don't even, they wouldn't understand the principles to begin with, right? But fortunately, I know this in theory should be possible now. Now I have the right angle for it. Okay, here we go. Uh, this last bit took longer than than I thought. The fact the fact that it's still crawling is just crazy. Because the sail's angle is good. Okay, we're back home. I forgot, I should have marked the, the house uh, on my map. I just want to start from a fresh day, so I'm just going to spend uh, time just clearing up the path a bit. And... You know what? Now that I've take, like, sailed across the water, I might as well explore the land that I, that I live on. I guess uncover the, the whole map here. At least in this part of the, of the world. Oh no, he's angry now. Here we go. Block, hit, boom. Block, parry. Block and parry and smash. 
Block Terry Smash. You want some too? I don't have time for every grade like I got. What was that? Oh, uh, here's this guy. You want to come in the way of my axe? <laughs> Jeez. They're like little trolls. It's like they just want to irritate you and run away. Fortunately, the next, they just aggro right at you. So do the boars, but they're much worse. Well, we got a good amount of uh, meat now. We have bones. Let's clear up the resin a bit here. Having bones is pretty good. <clears throat> That's a rare uh, material, and I needed to upgrade uh, many of the things needed bones to be upgraded. I think the helmet even. Club, yeah, I wanna I wanna upgrade the club with bone fragments, because that sounds badass. At least I can do the flint knife. Make it even stronger. That's pretty awesome. I'm not sure what the orange numbers mean compared to the yellow numbers. Oh well. We'll figure out more things tomorrow. See what dream it is this time. No dream? Oh, you don't always get a dream? Did I get woken up in the middle of the night from the monsters outside? Because, yeah, I'd like to explore around and see if I can find more bones. It's so rewarding, the the bow shooting in this game, because it's so tricky. You have to get the height right, and uh, but when you master it, it's so rewarding. It's pretty much what bow hunting is like in real life, right? I would suppose so. I remember that I found bones here before. Okay, it doesn't look like there was anything there now. Um, so, okay, I'm just gonna go in a wild direction. I'm just gonna run around and uncover the map more. See if I can find cool things. Oh yeah. Nice. It's so nice when you get them in one shot too. Because if you don't, you pretty much lost the animal. Oh, this is so beautiful too. Wow. So glad I turned up the vegetation quality. This is definitely new territory. 
Oh, more money. I hope we're not limited to only trading with money, though. Because I haven't found a lot. I don't have enough to even make a stack, like a small stack. Wow, look at these stones. The stamina is definitely better already for running. Yeah, it's, you know, graphically speaking, it's not the most impressive game, but it's still beautiful in its own way. I want to do some research on this game because... Um, to say that uh, only three people, there were only three developers behind this game, and I wonder where they're from. Oh, beautiful feathers! There we go. That's a little lucky. That was a good shot. I don't always get that bird. Now, I want to check out the, the place that's marked on the map, with the horns. I think that's probably the next step in the game. Probably shouldn't avoid it. Well, here we go. Hello, warrior. Hi, Ugin. You have found the summoning place of one of the forsaken. Make the correct offering at the altar and it will come. Hmm. Not easy prey. Wicked weapon. So craft a wicked weapon. Don your finest armor and eat a hearty meal. Okay, so. Be prepared, basically. Okay, so. That sounds like. It's probably this one, huh? Hunt his kin. Okay, so I get it. So basically we need to put down uh, deer heads on that altar. So let's come back with those. It's very uh, thick woods way here. Oh, a two-star one. Oh yeah, beautiful. There's another one there though, but oh, that's a boar. No. Nice. Now I didn't see how much I got from a two-star deer. I was distracted by that boar. Okay, so we have one more deer head on us now. And lots of food to cook. Let's just put the stuff we don't need away. It's looking nice in here. So 
this. We could do with another chest, though. Oh, it has a front side? I never noticed that. I've been putting all of them backwards. Yeah, it's way nicer with that round circle in the front. Anyway, this chest could be used for... Uh, um, I'm taking basic materials. Building materials, crafting materials. Or I should say, just crafting materials. Okay, now that we have that boar head, we have a uh, deer head. Ooh. We want some fists. Ooh. That was a nice. That's right. Let's clear up the path towards the. The altar. Kind of make it look like a path, you know? In case I ever get lost. Kind of. Oh, wow. One swing and I got all of it. Yeah, these roots, I can definitely. Me the, the animal. Yeah, his axe is insanely good now. I love how he just, like, one swing does it. Okay, we're here. We're well fed. We have our weapons on us. Use deer trophy on altar. What? Eight. And then click on. Am I doing this wrong? Altar. Eight. Oh, yeah, shoot. Okay, I thought we already put one down. Okay, yeah, there's two. Um, why did I just bring one? I don't know at what point I got confused there, but okay, I have to come back with another head. I think, yeah, I, I was under the impression that you just needed to put one. I don't feel like it said uh, zero out of two. I don't know. I might be wrong and I'll realize it during the editing, but I'll keep it in regardless. No, we want to see the mistakes, right? It's not fun to see someone play perfectly all the time. So yeah, like regarding my cuts and everything, it's it's never to leave out mistakes or something I've done wrong. It's just to keep things flowing. Uh, that I cut parts out. Like if there's a long segment without any action, you know, or if I'm running a long distance and nothing's happening and it's not beautiful or, you know, it's empty silence or whatever. Those are the reasons I cut out footage for. Just so, you know, so it's on the record. Uh, <clears throat> okay. We have more wood than we need, so we can just put some stacks out here. They can kind of service fences a little bit. So can... Let's just check if the deer trophy can be hung. Since I have I have extra trophies anyway. 
Yeah, I don't get it. I don't know how you use it as decoration. I feel like I saw it somewhere. That you, that you, you can, I read it somewhere. That you can use them as decoration. my stuff see we have five in total so I'll just bring two to be on the safe side in case it despawned or whatever need to get all the wood, I just, I don't, oh, 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 that's tearing down a lot of the woods. Yeah, I'm mostly concerned about clearing the path. Ooh, mushrooms. Big tree, but it doesn't take as many chops now anymore. Ah, jeez. Just when I got my knife out. Ah, see, now he comes back. I can still kill you with an axe, don't you know? Silly Billy. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Wow, that was close. I was pretty lucky there. Whew. Okay. It's a lot of tree around these parts. A lot of wood. Probably clear the stumps. I can get back to it later though. I haven't actually seen a stump grow back. I don't know how that works. It just spawns into a new tree the following day or whatever. No! I can't be carrying too much now. Okay, what can we do with these seeds? Can I just plant them? Let's just try to plant them. So, five and ground. Okay, why is that? What about this naked patch of soil here? I don't get it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe you need to like craft the planter or something? Like, actually make a farm somehow? But that's weird to grow a uh, beach, right? That's a tree. Uh, I'm kind of confused about that. Anyway, now we're here, so let's focus. My health's pretty good. We're as ready pretty much as we could be. Oh. Oh. Okay. Metal music. I hate to. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a boss battle. Uh. Uh, shoot. He's. Whoa! Okay, I did not expect that, and I did not expect it to be this big. Wow. 
Wow, he's big. Oh my god, he's just tearing down everything. Oh, the arrows aren't dealing a lot of damage. Whoa. Okay, so that lightning thing. Oh. It only goes so far, but. Ah. Okay, I didn't lose too much health, though. We have about the same amount of health. So can't eat more. Oh. Oh, got his leg at least. What's. What is the railing doing here? What are you doing here? Get the heck away. Maybe a. Ow! Maybe I should hit him with a melee weapon? Whoa! Did I just dodge three falling trees there? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, he didn't lose much more health that way. Okay. Should I try with the knife or. Maybe from. Maybe he has a sensitive spot? Ah, this. I don't have time for you. Oh, that was close. Oh. Well. Ow. Well, these logs really help. Attack me and give me something to stand on. Oh, I was right outside of the the ring of lightning. Ow! Okay, I did not expect that. Jeez, how many trees is tearing down? Ow. Okay, I've lost like 20 HP so far. This stupid grayling. I think it's probably spawning them, right? That's what's going on. Oh my god, so many logs. Okay, that metal music was nerve wracking. Yes, leveled up. Don't you shove that log on me. Oh! Wasn't I behind the stone though? Shoot. Well, last I looked at my health, it was 66, now it's 77, so... Things are going the right way, health-wise. Ow. Well, I didn't seem to lose any health from the lightning. Or maybe it went up and then down, I don't know. Shoot! I was out. I was about to say that's a close call. There you go. Worried about all these huge logs that are just like hanging up in the trees. Well, that last shot got him pretty decent. Well, no shoot, Sherlock. I don't feel rested. Am I supposed to feel rested here? Yeah, you can't get me here, huh? I'm on the magical logs. Ow! Okay, well, so much magical logs. 
Again, that lighting definitely took half of my life. Well. He has like, I don't know, 10, 15 HP left. Or percent out of 100. Like, approximately. Jeez. Just shoot him a lot. Okay, this was way more intense than I thought. But I feel like I'm having more luck with me than I anticipated. Had I seen this in a YouTube video, I wouldn't have thought that I would be ready. But I almost got him now, so... I'm glad I didn't see any spoilers. One more shot now. Yes. Oh, jeez. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. I get a trophy. Okay, I can. I'll throw away anything for this. Maybe I can build a log stack. Just come back to. Time. Okay, that's it. Oh, we can run now. Yeah, so this is where we can see my levels. I keep forgetting that. My wood cutting is really high. My swimming was low. Here's the trophies, right? Once the king of the forest, the size of the antlers are truly impressive. Okay. And it says the boar head would make for a nice decoration. Oops. Yeah. Uh, friendly fire. Return to the sacrificial stones with your forsaken trophy and offered as a sacrifice to make the gods smile upon you. Congratulations, warrior. Nice. Okay. So there's more to do at the sacrificial stones. The altar. No, I mean the, um, the other stones. Well, I knew what I mean, but I did. I misspoke. So, yeah, the other white marking on the map. Okay, so this is where each stone represents... Uh, a boss, I assume. Or are they considered gods? I forget if they were um, written about as gods. But they couldn't be, right? That wouldn't make sense. Where's mythology? Okay, so what do I do? I have the... Do I have to interact with the corresponding stone? That must be the deer. And that's the smallest one? Vagvisia. It means like path shore. Um, yeah, Eik deer. There's a red cross on him. Okay. So I've done something right. But. Should I put it in the middle or? Isn't it? So what is this round platform for, if not for the trophy? Oh, there's like a hook. Yeah, trophy hook. Right. Okay. Your ability to... Whoa. Run and jump is improved. 60... 
I think it was 60% jump and, uh, and stamina. You have been granted the power of Aikdia. Use it in times of need. Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. Go there, explore the lands. Okay, so now we're ready for the Black Forest. Wow, this is a cool picture too. Okay, definitely taking screenshots here. Yeah, so now I have 60... His antlers are branches of iron. They crack the rocks and bring down mountains. His hooves are the sound of thunder. His voice a howling gale. Okay. So... His antlers break stone? Is that... Born in armor, mother of many, queen without crown. Okay, so that's the other bosses. Well, let's just check this house before we go. Yeah, we don't need the beach seeds. Leave those there. I don't know if there is a workbench, but I don't know if I should. Because if I have boss fights here, um, it doesn't. You know what? I think I should. I think I'll make like a secondary base there. Because then at least I have a base next to something that's clearly marked on the map. Oh, this stone axe is uh, worse than this one, I think. Look at the stats. Yeah, it looks worse, yeah. I mean, even if I repaired it, it's still worse. Did I build here in the beginning of the series? Is this my chest and stuff? I, I don't remember. I feel like that axe could have been mine, like from earlier on. Wow, that boss fight was something, huh? Grey Dwarf, okay, that one, that was a different grey creature. Skeleton. Okay, knife isn't so good. How about axe? Or club? Okay, let's parry him. Lock. Boom. Okay. So, okay, so the skeletons fight in a very traditional way. Block, and then you hit. Just how I, just how I do in, uh, Skyrim. Or many games. I don't know. I, I, I focus on it a lot in Skyrim. Hold, traveler, and bear witness to my warning. We are many who have come before you, carried here by Odin's will to do his work. The path ahead is hard. All right. 